it's 7 a.m. and 40 degrees outside and Michael just went to take the dogs to the groomer and I had a nightmare right before I woke up to say bye to them that somebody stole my dogs so the day's not off to a good start. No one kidnapped my babies! Oh my gosh! Where are they? I don't know, that's what they said. Oh, you were so good? Were you so good? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I don't know, some dogs get banned from groomers and aren't allowed to come back. Hi, sweet girl. I know you don't like that bandana. I know, I'll get it off. What are we going to pick up? A kiln. Oh, you scared wee. Oh, wee. You pretty wee. Oops. That my sweet wifey looked all over Facebook Marketplace and found a used kiln that I've been talking about for like six months. He has been talking about it for a while and it was quite an investment, but I was like, if you're really wanting it still, then okay, let's do it. <laughs> Michael, he, he has ADHD and you know how they say like, you know, stereotypical ADHD, like you pick up hobbies and you're obsessed with it and then you move on to the next one. So I was kind of worried about that, but you know, we have the ability to uh, lean into his hobbies. So we're going to do that. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. I don't have the booklet for it anymore. You may, you can I'll just look it up. Me. Yeah. It's a really good brand. Um, and so I can start it up for you. The goods have been acquired. Merry Christmas, Michael. Thank you. <laughs> the lady said that she actually does glass in there and I think Michael was just doing pottery, right? Mm -hmm. So are you gonna make us a full plate set now? Absolutely. Are they gonna be round or square? Round. Round, but like the flat ones, right? Yeah. Pottery wheel, not pottery square. Whoa. <laughs> Just kidding. How do they make how do they make square pottery? I mean, it doesn't have to be thrown on a wheel. Oh, true. Wow, that really messed with my head for a second. <laughs> So like the glass, is that like the blown glass that we saw at that one place? Um, no, there's something called like fused glass where you take like a bunch of broken bits and bobs of glass and you like... Bits and bobs? Yeah, and you like <laughs> put it in a little pattern and then you melt it and then, I don't know, I haven't looked at it really, but hmm. it's another kind of art. Okay, we'll stick to pottery for now. crazy that it goes up to cone 10. I wasn't cone, expecting that. Cone 10? Different kinds of clay have to be fired at different temperatures. Cone 10 is the hottest and with that you can make like a porcelain. Oh. But porcelain is really hard to shape. In my turn? Yeah, right here. Okay, well I'm gonna stop recording while we're driving because it's very hard for me to navigate. Um, while I'm using my phone. We will talk to you later. Bye. I saw this place on the side of the road that looked really nice and I was like, oh, Christmas sweater contest. I did some more reading on it and it's a gentleman's club, so we won't be going there. <laughs> when I talked about my anxiety the other day, some of you were asking like the tips that I have on dealing with panic attacks and anxiety. And Michael and I have both actually dealt with anxiety uh, for a very long time and we're both on as Michael takes a deep breath <laughs> <laughs> and we're both on an SSRI um, so that was very helpful I tried to do everything supernaturally for a very long time and I, I just couldn't handle it and I think taking that edge off
off sometimes is just what people need to do and I don't regret it at all um, so if you're considering it talk to your doctor and see what they say about some sort of medicine to help you out a little bit um, but panic attacks when I do have a panic attack first of all I feel like the symptoms are not talked about of a panic attack enough like not all of the symptoms because I thought something was really wrong with me because when I had panic attacks I woke up in the middle of the night like shaking and like my teeth would be chattering and I, I thought I was having like a seizure but nobody really talks about that side effect of panic attacks like you hear about not being able to breathe and you hear about like racing thoughts and feeling like you're gonna pass out and that kind of stuff but just know that there's a lot of symptoms of panic attacks and that is one of them um oh i also had hand cramps where my hands like they would like freeze up like like cramped and i couldn't get them undone and i also thought i was dying there but nope just a panic attack um so what i do during a panic attack is usually i try to hold something like warm or cold like i'll put my ice roller on my face or i'll like put my heat pad on my chest and hug it or something something to distract me and it kind of helps when i hug my heat pad to like loosen up my chest and stuff also they say you can hold a ice cube and that will distract you because it kind of hurts because it's really cold and you can't like think about being in pain from the ice and think about freaking out at the same time so it kind of takes that stress off of you and you can kind of think about something else hurting like the ice on your skin uh what's another one michael what deep breathing deep breathing yeah like i said michael was just deep breathing and you hold your breath for a few seconds and then breathe out and that will help slow your heart rate down and if you just do this when you're not having a panic attack, you can see that you really do have a lot of control over your body and your heart rate and you can control your breathing to help you with your heart rate when you are freaking out. And let's see what else. Mindfulness. Yeah, but that's more like mindfulness is good. like. For preventing panic attacks in my opinion I don't know if it really helps me during a panic attack yeah well during a panic attack eating food can help eating food taking a drink eating sour candy there's so many things um but those are definitely some of them halt halt yeah that's what our therapist talked to us about is halt what's it stand for Yeah, so if you're feeling anxious, go through the halt and see, am I hungry? Have I ate today? Angry? Am I feeling upset about something? No. Lonely? Am I feeling lonely? Should I call a family member? Should I call a friend? Should I go out and do something? Or tired? When we get tired, our body is it's fighting and it's much easier to let that anxiety in and so if you think about the reasons why you could be having a panic attack it's easier to treat the symptoms of it and it's also easier to prevent it from happening again so i hope that is helpful to you guys that are struggling with anxiety i know it is a journey one thing that i really didn't believe when i was going through my really bad anxiety journey like when it was starting and I was having panic attacks multiple every single day is that if you continue practicing mindfulness and gratitude and deep breathing and anxiety management strategies that your brain will rewire itself your brain has neuroplasticity and you will your, your brain will restructure itself. I know that you won't believe it in the moment when you're doing these things, but eventually it's just like your brain clicks the right direction and you're just like, oh, I, I don't feel anxious anymore. Like usually when I have a heart palpitation or something from eating or whatever, that would put me into a panic attack, but now it's just not. So 
keep moving forward and I promise it does get better and these strategies really do work, it just takes time. We are almost home now and we are going to, are we stopping at Starbucks? Sure. Did you say yes just because it's on the video? Okay, we didn't end up at Starbucks, but we did get Pokeballs again, so, yum. Michael's gonna fire his very first cup! Maybe. Or maybe this is what explode. we bought today. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so, what now? Well, I'm going to place the cup in here. Okay. <laughs> I'm thinking I might take this random brick out. <laughs> I don't know why that's in there. And I don't think you're supposed to put your cup on the straight up bottom of the kiln, but I don't have a kiln shelf. Maybe that what that's what that's for. You know, that would be pretty reasonable. At least for this item. Do you all wanna see inside? That is not how that's supposed to go, but that's how it's going. Okay. So now what? Now, we press buttons. Fast bisque. Cone table, cone six, HLV. He's just yeah. saying a bunch of words that none of us understand. I don't know what they mean. CPL. Does it I concern wasn't... anybody that Michael's about to heat something super hot and doesn't know how it works? Cone six. One second, it would like, the cup would break. Oh, so it's slowly going up. Mm-hmm. So Michael said that it has to slowly go up because if it didn't, then the cup would break. Break. Probably. So that's why every once in a while it's making a noise and the red and light, the light turns on. on. And apparently this process takes hours, so. Look, it's already 82 degrees. Great. Hey. Glaze. Whoa. Do you have to fire it again after you glaze it? Yeah. You fire it once to bisque and then once to do the glaze. Interesting. This is really thick. This feels like not right. But maybe that's how glaze is. I don't know. Okay, the confidence. <laughs> so maybe we will show you a perfectly glazed cup in the future. Maybe not. Maybe not. Who knows? And we're ending the night in the hot tub and we have the nice red lights, so red light therapy, and it's cold outside, so Michael's gonna complain when we get out, but he'll be okay. <laughs> I've been getting headaches with all of the temperature changes here, and I think it's like a pressure thing that I get headaches. So I'm hoping that the hot tub is going to help. So good night, everybody, and we will see you tomorrow.